Near daily unrest is carrying clientele away from Jerusalem's normally bustling main market, Mahana Yehuda, causing a steep decline in its sales at its bars, shops, and restaurants. But as the market shuts down at night, new faces appear. A graffiti artist and his partner are painting dazzling portraits, turning the market or shook in Hebrew and its drab alleyways into a portrait gallery. The project began a year ago as a way to tell stories of these faces, but it also managed to improve the mood of the shuk. In the beginning when he just started, we didn't really, it was just color. And we saw it was having a very strong effect on people. It was putting smiles, people were in shock and loving it. Then there were requests for portraits and it led to a handful of characters and then people would stop and look and then ask, who is this? And we tell them the story and they're touched, they're moved on a whole nother level. The graffiti duo has painted faces of personalities of Jewish and Israeli history, as well as other important historical figures like Jewish-American reggae singer Matsyahu, Israel's first Prime Minister Dave Ben-Gurion, and Sigmund Freud. The overall theme is to inspire people to do. These, pe these are people who made the world a better place or changed the world, whether a big or small impact. There are heroes and heroines, or heroines and heroes from all walks of life. It's not just Jews. And that is one of the universal aspects of our culture, which is trying to better ourselves and overcome our own evil inclinations to be a better person and make our surroundings better. The artists take suggestions from shop owners and passerby and draw inspiration from their surroundings in this biblical city. The situation in the markets is very difficult. If the status in Jerusalem remains unchanged, we will have a very hard time to overcome it. But I think this graffiti creates a buzz and can definitely help bring people to the city. So that's good. Nice drawings. It really helps to create a positive atmosphere here in the Shuk. Certainly with the attacks and the security situation, one big minus with these drawings is that you can only see them at night when the shops close and the doors close. That's a pity. With already 360 shutters in the market painted, the artists hope to find a way to have their work on display during the day to draw visitors when stalls are open. I think it adds color, which is a lot of fun. Color is life. It adds some mood. It adds a feeling of warmth and light. It's nice. The truth is it looks cleaner than all the gray there was when it was closed. So it's nice. It improves the mood. Art can have a neurological effect on a person. And, you know, endorphins, oxytocin, and make them feel good. And people, now that it's gotten out there, people have been picking up the story, more and more people are coming to visit the show because of the art. The artists are aware that while the project might not restore the market to its pre-violent state, art can only do good for the people of this beleaguered city. <laughs>